I thought I'll I'll do uh, another uh, session on discovery ads because these are uh, pretty new in Google Ads and they work wonderfully well if you are looking for brand awareness or for um, or you want to run a direct call to action campaigns. So first of all, let's hop on to the uh, Google Support Center and see what they say about discovery campaigns. It says you can dis use discovery campaigns to reach 2.9 billion customers across Google. Uh, so it's a, almost a half the population of the world. And thanks to Google's audience and customer intense signals, this Campaign type helps you deliver highly visual, inspiring, personalized ad experience to people who are ready to discover and engage with your brand. And it's all through just um, a single Google Ads campaign. So you can put in text, uh, images, your logo as well. And Google is going to create a um, highly uh, effective and uh, visual ads, uh, which will be shown across all the various Google properties. So you can really scale your campaigns and and the good thing about these is not many people or advertisers are using these right now so uh, what i found that the cost per click is extremely low and if you are running uh, brand awareness campaigns um, to your blog or to video or, or whatever I find that these ads work really well because the level of engagement when they come onto my website is pretty high as well. So you can see over here, where are we? When to use. So you want to drive conversions with your media at scale. Uh, you want to reach new customers with your media or you want to reconnect with your most valuable customers. So what that means is you can also run remarketing campaigns to uh, visitors who had previously uh, been to your uh, website. Okay, hi Sandy, how are you? Good to see you here. So there's lots more you can read over here, so I won't go into a great amount of details, but just to give you a, a simple overview as to what discovery ads or campaigns can do. So let's hop into the interface so you go on the create new campaign now you can uh, select any goals or without uh, a goal a campaign without a goals guidance uh, this, this does not mean that we are not tracking conversions of course we are going to be tracking conversions but this will give us the uh, the full features of google ads you go want to go on here if you don't see this box in your account, that means your account has not been whitelisted uh, for the discovery uh, ads. And once uh, you see this box, obviously you can carry on running these. And then you click on continue. You name your uh, campaign the way you want. Select your location, your language, now, with these kind of ads, there's only two ways you can bid. One is through a target cost per action. So whatever that cost per action is, whether somebody you want somebody to click on your ad and come through to your website as a visitor or want a sign up or somebody to make a purchase, that's the cost per action which you want to put in here. Otherwise, you just let it run and Google will maximize your conversions as the bid strategy. What you also want to do is if you are selecting a TCPA, so let's say you've got one pound or whatever currency you are using, you need to give at least 10 times the budget of that. So if I'm running at one TCPA, the budget I would need to give as a bare minimum is 10 pounds. Yeah. This was five, then this would obviously become 50 because you need to give Google uh, uh, the budget and the room so that it can go out there 
and bed and get those conversions uh, for you. What I tend to do is to go and maximize conversions for to start with and then once I've got data in my account and I can see that I'm getting conversions at such a cost, then you can set up a target CPA. Start end days is a straightforward uh, conversions. You set it up from here whether you want to set your conversions at account level or or or, or a use a specific conversion action for this campaign. Um, you can ex uh, you can't so I beg your pardon um, exclude. But uh, discovery campaigns exclude more sensitive content where applicable. So you don't need to worry too much about it uh, as to where your ads will be shown. They will be shown at at all um, websites and uh, networks where they don't have sensitive content or content which you don't want your ads to show through to. Then you set up your ad group name. Now those of you who have been over here before and have seen me set up uh, ad groups uh, especially what I tend to do is to target one audience per ad group so if I was to target advertising and marketing services I would name this as advertising and marketing Thank you.